Hi Libra. All right, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your um, reading, your short reading. So fun fact, okay, I was about to do Aries, okay? I was about to do Aries. So I did Sagittarius, I did Aquarius, and I was about to do Aries. I asked Spirit with my cards, with my deck. I asked them, who should I do next? Give me a Zodiac sign, Libra popped out. Okay, so also the 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 card too clingy came out so i don't know if you're too clingy or someone's too clingy towards you so we're gonna talk about it i recorded it too but i i don't i don't have the energy i'm actually coming down with a cold guys um because the temperature in my house has been fluctuating a lot so i don't feel the best and i also took a benadryl so i gotta work fast because i'm falling asleep so anyway i don't have the energy to edit it in my video but you can trust me okay all right Let's see what your reading is going to be about. Libra, either way it goes, I'm very happy to do you guys. You guys know I love my lucky Libras and you're lucky. You got lucky. So I was going to do Aries. I skipped Aries and did you. So Aries, I'm sorry. All right. So on the bottom of the deck is dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Why am I also getting, okay, look at this person. Do they look like a dark man to you? No. Someone could be the lightest out of their whole family but most of their family is of dark descent okay they're darkies okay <laughs> i can say that you cannot especially if you're not a darkie don't say that that's really um ignorant but we can be ignorant on this channel in in secret okay um but i feel like someone is like the lightest out of their whole family but they come from a black family also feel like i also was getting and i'm just gonna say it but i don't know if this is gonna be true but some of you guys it is someone's adopted and they're like a white kid in a black family or they're a light-skinned kid in a dark family okay but they still got that i'm also hearing that song by mulatto excuse me for my ignorance tonight but i'm being very ignorant tonight if you go look at the sagittarius title you'll see how ignorant i am tonight but there's a song by mulatto okay she's a rapper girl the, the song is called Big Dick Energy, okay? So someone has big dick energy, but they're very, they're either white or European or they're light-skinned, but they got that, you know, big dick energy. All right, whatever. Bottom of the deck says frying pan, trouble, accusations. Okay, so you and this person have drama right now, obviously. You guys are accusing each other of something. There's some drama or there's going to be because this is not an X48, guys. This is a prediction. It could happen this month. It might happen February, okay? We also have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So you and this person are not going to be able to get it together because someone is a liar is what I'm getting. You also have whale here, a great worry over nothing. If you're worried about this liar or this, this light man or this dark man, whoever this person is, if you're worried over them, don't worry your, your little hair. Don't worry yourself because... Things are going to work out in your favor or you'll be fine, okay? So don't stress yourself out over this person. Don't stress yourself out over a liar. It doesn't make sense. If someone's going to lie to you and you can't force an outcome, why stress yourself? Why lose sleep over this person? We also have younger men. So this person going to be younger than you if you're feminine. If you're feminine dealing with the masculine, this person is definitely younger. They're more immature. They also could be more immature. They don't have to be younger than you. They're just more immature than you. Libra so it's like don't get frustrated over this person even if you feel like oh I have respect for this person and you feel like they don't have respect for you they do have respect for you they're just immature okay so don't think too much into it don't stress yourself you know what I'm saying um it says dealings a relationship with a younger man is here okay interesting also too somebody has a some masculine has a long haircut they need to cut that shit okay but actually, too, I'm also getting the Kardashians. I'm getting Bruce Jenner. Caitlyn. Let me respect pronouns, okay? You know how, like, okay, you only notice if you watch the Kardashians, but there was a lot of episodes where when Caitlyn was still identifying as Bruce, they would try to force Bruce to cut his hair. Little did they know that someone's hair had sentimental value, so somebody has locks. Because whenever I talk to people who have locks, they speak about it like it's a spiritual journey. And sometimes it makes me want to get locks. I'm like, damn, is it that much of a high? Like these people be on a different astral plane, you know? But someone's hair could be long. It doesn't even have to be locks. It could be braids. It could also be like they just wear their hair long. You might feel like, oh my God, this person needs to cut it. But like little do you know this person's identity... Um, 
just, you know, their identity is a part of that. So don't push this person because you, it's like something from someone's childhood. You don't know what they had to go through to be able to grow their hair. So let them keep their little three hairs, okay? All right. It's not like me where I could take this wig off at night, okay? Okay. <laughs> bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Okay, so you're in your bag, Libra. Good for you. You're about to be making some money in February. Okay, nice. So this is a prediction for February, okay? So you're about to be making some money in February. And also this is going to happen in February. We also have egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay, egg. Hmm. Okay, so something's in incubation. Okay, so something is brewing. But also with the egg too, be careful of being fertile because you are the empress. All right, so let's get into your reading. I'm so tired, guys. I'm kind of like high off of this Benadryl. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And that's a joke, by the way. I'm not high off the Benadryl, but I am drowsy, okay? I have to just be honest. So who knows what this reading is going to entail, honey? But if I ramble too much, please don't judge, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with my Librans. Let's see what's going on with my Librans. I wasn't, I do not feel good today, guys. I do not feel good. Even my stepdad asked me to take him to go pick up his car from the mechanic. I literally was telling this guy, <laughs> my stepdad, I was telling him on the phone. I treated him like this guy. I was like, can you ask my mom? But she was busy. And I was like, you know, I can't do that because he's always there for me. But I, I felt so sick. But uh, I'm pushing through. Nine of Cups, okay? If you have a um soak tub, Nine of Cups is like being super like... Okay, some of you guys are high Nine of Cups. And I never get that for the Nine of Cups. I only get that for the Sun card. But now the Nine of Cups might be my high card. Some of you guys are high. Some of you guys are also taking a bubble bath. Bubble bath, Nine of Cups. What else? Will of Fortune, lots of changes coming for you towards the end of January. So your new year is going to start. I want you to know, Libra, take it from me, take it from Dream. You can tell anybody. I'll back this up. Your new year is going to be in February, not January, February. I don't know why, but it is. Maybe last year, February, something very significant happened for you. That's your new year for some reason. Nine of Wands is on the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups is your last card. So you have new love coming in very fast. If it's not new love, it's it's a renewed love. Renewed love with a past person. But I think for a lot of you, it's new love, okay? So let's clarify this for you. I ranted a lot in... Um, I didn't rant. I just rambled a lot in Aquarius's reading because I'm drowsy. And I don't want to do that in your reading because I also have to do your extended. And I want to make sure I have high energy. So I'm going to try to hurry up and do this quick reading. All right, Nine of Cups is here. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy for sure. So maybe you are meant to be because if you are relating to a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius having your chart, go watch the Sagittarius reading. It's going to resonate for you. Okay, but lots of changes in February. February is going to be your month. So January just seems kind of slow and boring and not really exciting. February is going to be your month. What's the Nine of Cups doing here, please? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone around you, Libra, who wants to take care of you and you're going to let them. You're not usually this type because you are air sign. You can be detached when you want to be. And you're also about balance. So if you dealt with someone in the past who wasn't giving you a balanced relationship, you detach from this motherfucker immediately. Okay, Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like like someone is like really trying to take care of you now because they feel like they feel your absence, Okay. Also, Libra, um, in my I have a second channel. It's called Dream Free. I have to plug it. Go watch that after you watch this. If you're bored and you want to go watch that, my second channel, my vlog channel, go watch it because actually I found a statue that resembled the Justice card, which was you. So maybe you may want to go watch my um, vlog and I'll put it in the comment section down below and I'll also put my channel in the description box. Okay. All right, quick plug. What's the Nine of Cups? Okay, the Hermit in Reverse. So this person's going to be doing a lot more than they were doing from last year. This whole year, whoever this person is that I'm speaking about, that you know that I'm speaking about, you're going to see a big res resurgence of them. They're going to be showing you a lot of energy. Could be a Virgo, but I'm not even getting Virgo energy. I really feel like it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, 
Okay, maybe it's a Virgo, but I'm really not getting... Okay, maybe it is a Virgo. Nine of Pentacles and Hermit are both Virgo cards. But I'm really not getting that. I'm really getting like um, someone's like a fire sign or an Aquarius. Because, you know, that's the signs I did today. I'm also getting that someone's going to start acting like a Virgo. Very practical, very dependable. So if somebody wasn't like that in the past, this year they're going to be all about you. So congratulations if you want that. I want to move forward because I'm already wasting so much time. What's the Wheel of Fortune, please? Three of Swords in Reverse. Yeah. Also, this year, if you if you were, felt like you were held back because of heartbreak, you won't even look twice at this heartbreak this year. You'll be over it. You'll be like, who? Who is that person that hurt, hurt me? So I'm like, oh, yeah, such and such. You still talk to such and such? You'll be like, who is that? They'll be like, girl, the person you was crying on a pillow about last last year. You'll be like, who? <laughs> That's Libra energy for sure. What's this, Three of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Nine of Swords, you're quickly getting over this person, you know, so they better catch you while they can. Okay, what else is here? Six of Pentacles is here. You'll have a lot of people wanting to provide for you. Libra, I see you being pampered by these people. Straight Empress energy or Emperor energy. You don't have to lift a finger. People are just going to come and do nice things for you and you deserve it because I feel like I don't know what happened last year with you. I can't remember all the readings I did for you. I feel like you got drugged through the mud 2021. 2022 is going to be your year. You're going to be dragging people through the mud. Not purposely, just because you're being taken care of. All right, what's the Six of Pentacles? So you have a lot of people wanting gifts to you in February. What else is here? Yep, a lot of your exes too, not just one ex. So you're thinking about one specific ex right now because I know that's what I'm hearing. But there's other people, ex-friends, ex-family members. There's a lot of exes coming back in your life for 2022. You may not want them back in your life, but these people are going to be giving so much to you just to be, just to walk your path or to smell your feet. I don't know. I'm getting that. Okay, so sometimes I get Bible references, but I don't talk about them because this is not the channel to talk about the Bible because we be real raunchy. But you know that um, you know that prostitute in the Bible who used her hair to wash Jesus's feet. Okay, so let me find out. Jesus was in the strip club. Okay, and that's a joke. Okay, that's a joke. Do not take it to heart, guys. It's not real. If you're a real hardcore Christian, I don't know what you're doing on my channel. We support Jesus, but you know Jesus was getting his his feet washed by by a prostitute hoe. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> there's people coming back into your life who are like that person who people are going to be washing their feet with your with their hair. Remember what I said too about someone whose hair, it means a lot to them. So, okay, it's not it's not literally meaning this person will wash their feet with your hair. It just means that whatever means a lot to someone, they're going to be taking that and pampering you with it. So someone's like really showing you that they really care because something that they really care about, they're sacrificing for you. I don't know. Ace of Cups, please. That was real raunchy, but I don't even care at this point. What's the Ace of Cups? Knight of Wands. Okay, new love is coming in like clockwork. I mean, the first week of February, there's new love coming in for you. So I need to do new love for February. So remind me in the comments if you want to see that. Remind me in the comments. I'll make sure to do new love for each sign for February. All right, we have the um, death card is here. As soon as you end something, something new starts for you. You know what? There's someone from your past that you think like you're not going to find someone who's as bossed up as this person. Your new person's going to be even more bossed up than this person. Just have to let you know. Yeah, two of cups. I'm not lying. Person will be on your level and more. You'll be very attracted to them. So Libra, you could meet someone who's like you, but are you really attracted to them? I feel like you want more. Look at this person. They're bossed the fuck up. They're looking down to you. Okay, so nice. What else? Okay, this card just fell out of nowhere. I don't even know how this card fell. Police, law enforcement. This person could be a lawyer. I'm getting lawyer, but this person could also be like a public defender or sheriff or something. Someone could be work for the police department. You never thought that you would date someone like this, but you are. They also could be like an FBI chief. I feel like someone has high ranking. Knight of Swords is my military card. So someone also could be in the military and they have a high ranking in the military. I don't know. All right, we got to end it, guys. Let's get the last words and then we're going to find out more about this person and extend it. If you want to see who this person is that we're channeling. You can follow me to extend it, okay? All right, so last words, please, for Libra. So many messages, guys. All right, last words for Libra, please. Last words for my Librans. 
Last words for my Librans, please. Okay. Whatever this storyline is trying to say, last words for my Librans and the storyline, whatever this prediction is going to come true, give me some words, please, for them. Who did that come out for, Aquarius? Could be an Aquarius that's going to be your new lover, by the way. If, you have, if you're not dealing with an Aquarius now, definitely have an Aquarius coming in as your new lover. I'm single. Yep, that's you, Libra. I'm telling you, February, you'll be single, single. We also have I Miss You. Okay, so someone from your past is trying to make up things, but they're also a player. So you may be over that. You're like, okay, I'm not really into that anymore. We also have I'm in love with you. This player could tell them, tell you that they're in love with you or someone's going to fall in love with you very quickly. Highly protected. So spirit and God is protecting you from anything that does no longer serve you. We have movie night, Netflix, and chill. Who did this come out for? Did this come out for Aquarius? Definitely an Aquarius that you're going to be dealing with. February, I'm horny. Definitely an Aquarius you could have sexual ties to. You guys know I don't even talk like that. So that has to be true. We also have I never met anyone like you. So you and this Aquarius, there's an Aquarius and you, I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it in February. Hot shit, okay? Hot shit. You're going to be really hot shit this year. December, Sagittarius or Capricorn you could be dealing with, okay? Something significant could have happened in December. I'm no good for you is here, okay? So you're real, realizing that about someone from your past, okay? All right, guys, I'm not even going to do an outro, you know, go watch my second channel. The links will be in the comment section in the description box. You know what to do. Like the video, subscribe. If you want a personal, all that shit is in the description box. I'm too tired. I'm going to quickly, um, well, not quickly. I'm going to do your extended and then you guys will be the last ones of the night. I love you guys. Meet me there if you want to talk about this person that we're channeling in this reading. All right, description box for all those links. Bye-bye.